So now Garg- Narada Muni explains to King Bahulasva how Lord Shiva came to stay in Mathura. He was performing. Lord Shiva came to Mathura and did austerities for many, many <coughs> celestial years. And Lord Krishna was very pleased with him and gave him his mercy that he becomes a gatekeeper. Digpal means gatekeeper. Really, I, I said ticket collector, but it's more like gatekeeper. And you go to the Chokidar, you say, Chokidar, gatekeeper, and say, let me in. Who are you? Do you have permission? No submission? No permission. No permission? No admission. So we have to submit ourselves to Shiva and then get his permission, then we can get admission. It's a nice, nice thing. So in Chaitanya Charitamrita, Madhya Lila 17, chapter 191, it explains that Mahaprabhu, when he came to Braj, he visited the deity of Bhuteshvara Mahadev. Hmm. Now, the next deity line here is... Any questions about Bhuteshvara? Now we'll go to uh, Gopishwara Mahadev. Gopishwara Mahadev Ki he is one of the most prominent deities in the Gaudiya Sampradaya and mentioned in many Gaudiya, which means Lord Chaitanya's followers, literatures. He is a very ancient protector of Sri Vrindavan Dham. One cannot enter Vrindavan without his permission. The glories of Gopishwar are sung throughout the Goswami literatures. How many have been to Gopishwar Mahadev? Raise your hand. Anytime. How many have got their feet cut over there? <laughs> <laughs> Srimad Gopishwaram Bande, Shankaram Karanamayam, Saraklesha Haram Devam, Vrindaranya Ratim Pradam. I offer my respectful obeisances to Sri Gopishwar, who is merciful Shiva himself. He removes all troubles and grants spiritual love in Vrindavan. Now, this is a nice prayer from Vishnu Chakravarti, Sri Sankalpa Kalpajuma, which we have in English, and we don't have the Sanskrit. So maybe we can repeat all together. Brinda, Brindavan, Avani, Avani. Pate, Jaya Soma Soma, Jaya Soma, Soma. Mole, Mole. Sana, Sana, Sanandana, Sanandana. Sanatana, Sanatana. Naradeidya. Naradeidya, Gopishwara, Gopishwara. Brajavilasi, Yugangri, Padme, Padme. Prema, Prema. Prayaccha, Nirupadi, Namo Namaste. Translation, O Shiva, O Gatekeeper of Vrindavan, you are accompanied by Parvati, Uma. You carry the moon in your hair, you are worshipped by the four Kamaras and Narada Muni. O Gopishwar, the worshipful deity of the gopis, desiring that you bestow upon me love for the lotus feet of the divine couple, Radha and Madhav, who perform joyous pastimes and brudge, I offer my obeisances unto you again and again. Of course, there's a famous song that we often sing in this con. Jaya Radhe, Jaya Krishna, Jaya Vrindavan, Shri Govinda Gopinata Madana Mohan, Jaya Jaya Gopishwara Vrindavanamaj so That's glorifying Gopishwara in that song. Maybe we never thought about it, but it's there. And then Raghunath Das Goswami describes how the gopis used to worship uh, Sada Shiva and Gopishwara with great devotion that he would bless them to fulfill their internal desires very quickly to attain the embrace of the arms of Brajinda Nandan. So it's very clear, although this linga was the linga was installed by Bhajanav, apparently there was another linga there or whatever. Because it's not Goswami is indicating Brihad Bhagavatamrita that Gopishwar was being worshipped in Vrindavan even at the time of Krishna's manifest pastimes. And he because he, he explains a little variation and this Leela of, of Krishna fighting Keshi demon. Because in Bhagavatam, Krishna killed Keshi demon. But in different kalpas, in different days of Brahma, Krishna performs his pastimes differently. So Keshi came, up, came to attack... <coughs> uh, K, uh, Krishna. 
But then Krishna kicked him and tossed him far away. And then he found the Arista, the bull demon. So the bull demon he also killed here at Radhakund. But in this particular day of Brahma, he pierced a hole in the, the bull's nose, tied him up and brought him before Lord Gopishwar Shiva. <laughs> so Arista, because of Arista Sura, then Radhakund was formed. Because Radharani said, oh, you killed this bull, that's Gohatya. You have to atone for that, Prayas Chit. So bathe in all the holy rivers. So Krishna said, well, look, I'll call, I'm not going away from Braj. I'll call the holy rivers here. So all the holy rivers came to Braj and they formed, they collected over there in Radhakund. And then uh, Krishna bathed over there. Rather Shamakund. So that's interesting that Krishna, in this particular time, Sanat Goswami said, Krishna blessed Arista, Arista by making him, uh, giving him the position of Nandi to sit before Gopishwar. So when you go before the go, when you go to the Gobeshwar temple, and you see some deity of, of Rish, I mean of Nandi there, you should know that's a Rishta Sura. <coughs> Krishna kept the Rishta, a Rishta tied up there for safekeeping, so that he would not be free to wander about and cause more trouble. <laughs> hmm. It's also explained that before the these great devotees, uh, Srinivas, Chamananda, and Naratam, they left Braj to carry the teachings and books of the six Goswamis to eastern India. They went to have darshan, the principal deities, and get their blessings. They also went to have darshan of Gopishwar Mahadev. And Srinivas became absorbed in offering prayers and gazing at Gopishwar. So, Lord Shiva was so pleased with Srinivas Acharya that unseen by anyone, Gobishwar manifested the form of Brahman and he personally bade farewell to Srinivas. Mm -hmm. Thus the three Prabhus got the blessings of Gobishwar before beginning their famous preaching. So anybody who's a preacher, anyone who goes out and is a pracharik, he goes to people's houses or he holds programs or he tries to tell someone about Krishna, they definitely should go to Gobishwar and pray for his mercy that, oh please bless me that I can preach this Braj Bhakti properly. Now how did, because Gopishwar means the controller of the Lord of the Gopis, so how did Lord Shiva get a name connected with the Gopis? And Lord Shiva is a man, he's in Purushabhiman. So how could he become a Gopi? So there's a story behind that. It's in, uh, once in Kailash, Lord Shiva heard the sound of Krishna playing his flute. He became totally mesmerized by that melodious sound. And soon, Lord Shiva entered Samadhi. And then he became, when he came out of Samadhi, he became very curious where that sound was coming from. So he followed the sound of that Murali and it led him to Vrindavan where Krishna was calling the gopis for the Rasa dance. When Shiva came to the gateway of the Rasa Mandal, Yoga Maya was standing there, Purnamasi, as a gatekeeper. She said, No males allowed entry. Krishna, only Krishna is allowed. First you must have a gopi form. Then you can enter. Then Mahadev said, How can I get a gopi rup? Yoga Maya said, You must take shelter of Brinda Devi. She will grant you the form of a gopi. So Brinda Devi told Shiva to take bath in the water of Mansarov, which is on the other side of Jamuna. As you're bathing there, Shiva came out of the water with the form of a beautiful gopi. So I remember once. I remember. I, I remember once we um, we went over there and uh, with some devotees, and we took bath there, and we knew about this benediction of Shiva. So we were thinking, oh, what, what will happen if we take a bath in here we come out as gopis? <laughs> <laughs> Ma Nidhi Gopi. <laughs> because I'm supposed to be a Swami or something. <laughs> I really am supposed to be a gopi bhartu, padakamli or dasana dasana dasana, nahambi pro nacha, nirapatir, nabi vaishun, nashudur, nahambarni nacha, agri hapatir, nova nishto yutirva, kintu pradyani kala param nanda pur nabi davdir, gopi bhartu, padakamli or dasana 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 <laughs> das, das, and das. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he recited this beautiful prayer every year before Jagannath Dev was 
sitting on his Rath Yatra card before the festival began, before the procession began, he would recite this prayer. In four prayers he would recite. He would recite this prayer. It's in the Amadi Lila of Chaitanya Charitamrita. So in this prayer he's establishing his eternal identity. Nahamvipro Nacha Naraputir Napi Vaisha Nashudra. He said, I have nothing to do with the Varnas. I have nothing to do with this Varnashram system. I'm outside this Varnas. I'm not a Shudra. I'm not a Baniya or Vaisha. I'm not a Kshatriya or a Brahmin. And moreover, I have nothing to do with the ashrams. I have nothing to do with Varna or ashram. I'm not a Brahmachari. I'm not a Grihasta. I'm not a Vanprast. I'm not a Sannyasi. Although you look, you think I'm a Sannyasi. I have a Danda, shaved head, and no Sika, no no Brahman thread because I'm t- I've taken this ek, ek Danda, what appears to be my Vat Sannyas. So, but I I'm not. You what you see is not what you get. <laughs> what you see is not what it is. You're seeing something else. So I, I, what am I? I'm Gopi Bartu Padakamalayor Das Das Anu Das. Gopi Bartu Padakamalayor. The Bartu means the boss. <laughs> the Bartu means the Lord of the Gopis. I, I am a servant of the servant of the servant of the Lord of the Gopis, of Gopinath. Shiva went there and he came out as Shiva, Shiva Rani. <laughs> <laughs> Brinda Devi took Shiva in her gopi form to one corner of the Rasastali. Shiva stood there and prayed to Radha and Krishna, Please give me devotion to your lotus feet. Krishna came up before the new gopi and said, O oh, Gopishwar, I am very pleased to see you in the form of a gopi. I give you the blessing that all the gopis will offer respect to you. Hearing Krishna's words, Radha became angry. She asked Krishna, Who is she? Till today, you have never addressed me as Gopishwar, but now you are addressing this nice-looking lady as such. This is a great insult. I will leave this Ras Mandap. Krishna caught Radha's hand and said, Please, listen. This is not a Gopi. This is Mahadev Shiva. He has entered the Ras Mandap to enjoy with us. <laughs> 